It's Tuesday and we're going to have a terrific cooking experience. Actually, today we're preparing some pumpkin trail mix. So you'll, you'll have the recipe. Amelia has posted it for you. Um, and as she mentioned, there are some substitutions. So if there's an ingredient you do not like, there's a long list of things you can swap it out for. So I just want to go over what our ingredients are today. We have almonds. So we're, we're going through the nuts here. Almonds are high in protein. They're also a good source of mm. calcium. We have some pecans. Um, pecans have a mild flavor. Um, I do love them. If you want to have a more nutty flavor, you can toast your nuts in a toaster oven or in a frying pan, but you might want to ask for help if you do that. So our nuts are raw, so they have not been roasted. But as I said, if you like a more nutty flavor, you can lightly roast them. We have some dried cherries. Um, I do love about the dried cherries that they have a really um, kind of tart, sweet flavor to them. It's not as sweet as a raisin, so it gives them a little savory sweet. We do have our standard raisins, but we're using a golden raisin just for fall colors. You can use a regular um, Thompson seedless raisins. Those are the ones that look brown. So these are golden. Um, and both of these foods, the raisins and the cherries, are high in potassium. So that's um, a mineral that we need to keep our heart healthy. Um, it's also something when we are sick or we're sweating a lot, we might lose some electrolytes. So the dried fruit gives us some energy and some minerals. Here we have some apricots and these are dried apricots. You may be used to seeing the dried apricots in the store. Um, again, they're in a fall color. It's like orange for fall. Um, apricots are really high in vitamin A. They have some vitamin C. Um, and they do have a nice amount of fiber. These are dried. Um, in certain months over the summer, you can buy them fresh and they look about the size of a plum, if you've seen the small plums. Um, and they're fuzzy like a peach and they're really sweet when they're ripe. So these are the dried apricots we've got going for today. These are pumpkin seeds, also known as pepitas if you're a Mexican food fan, because the Mexicans do cook a lot with these items. So this is a seed um, and it's not a nut. So pumpkin seeds, they are, um, these they only had with a little sea salt. I would try and buy them if you can without the salt but it's the only item in our trail mix that has a little bit of sea salt and it's very little. These are sunflower seeds and these are raw as well. The seeds pack a lot of nutrients. They're very dense in nutrients. So it's kind of like a nut, but with even more nutrients in it. So we have the seeds going on there. And then we're adding a little um, pumpkin pie spice. So the pumpkin pie spice you can buy in the grocery store in the spice section. And it's a familiar seasoning. It's used in pumpkin pies around Thanksgiving time. And it's made from a blend of cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg and cloves. So if you didn't have pumpkin pie spice, you could mix it probably from the everyday spices you'd find in your spice cabinet. Because as I said, the cinnamon is pretty common and nutmeg. Those are things we use in apple pies and different, um, different kinds of dishes. So we have that for our fall. Okay, so what we're going to do is very simple. So we're just going to mix everything together. So here we go. I've got this um, on the nuts. I have a third of a cup of almonds. I have two thirds of a cup of pecans. Look at how beautiful they look. Um, and as I said, these are raw, but you could roast them or toast them. Here go our delicious dried cherries. It's one of my favorite dried fruits. And our golden raisins. Those right in there. All right, just give us a little stir. 
So the dried fruit is gonna be a little bit sticky. So here go our apricots. And what I did with the apricots is you can see that these apricots are kind of large. So to have them mix in a little better, I did dice them, totally up to you, but I, I thought that they would mix in a little better if I dice them. Here come our pepitas and our sunflower seeds, all these nutrients coming along. And I'm gonna give this a stir. Last but not least comes our spice mix. Um, so I do want to say that this is a spice mix. Often we call herbs and spices spices, but herbs are the edible leaves like basil or oregano and spices like cinnamon and nutmeg may come from tree bark or tree nuts. Nutmeg is the nut. And so this is a spice. They are all seasonings. I'm just gonna sprinkle that right in there. And there was a teaspoon and a half, and then I mix it up. It's gonna stick to the dry fruit. Um, and this is really a nutrient dense, high protein snack mix. Mix that spice in there, good. And, and there we have it. There you go. If you want, you can leave out the pumpkin spice mix, but we wanted to make a fall trail mix. Trail mix gives us a lot of energy because of the dry fruits. Um, it gives us some protein from the nuts. Uh, the fruit also gives us carbohydrates. That's what gives our body energy and calories. Um, and there is a little fat in the nut. The healthy fats come from nuts and seeds, as opposed to unhealthy fats, which come from meat and cheeses and butter. Those are the unhealthy fats. So trail mix can be high in calories. And so when we have a serving, we do about a quarter of a cup. So if we use this cup, this is about a quarter of a cup. And if we scoop up the trail mix, this would be a quarter of a cup serving. And this has about 173 calories. So when we eat trail mix, we don't want to eat the whole bowl. We do want to have a small serving so that we have a little bit of energy and nutrients and protein coming in. But if we ate the whole bowl, it would be a lot of calories. So any questions? questions about our ingredients today. As I mentioned, you can swap out other items. So we can leave the nuts out. We can leave the fruit out. We can substitute some mini pretzels. We can substitute some roasted chickpeas. So we can continue with the idea of a trail mix without using the ingredients exactly as I presented them to you today. So today's code word is mix, M-I-X for trail mix. Oh, good one. That was an excellent one. <laughs>